Okay, uh, just finished installing the uh, the reservoir for the radiator, and now to hook this up. I took pictures of me splicing it. This is the, the throttle. Alright, now one thing I noticed was whenever I was changing uh, out these, uh, these, oh what do they call them, brain fart, when I was uh, swapping parts out, see a little notch right there, yeah that little notch fits in that hole, that's what keeps the throttle from you know rolling back and forth so you actually have a throttle. Uh, the new one that I received, that was actually broke off. So I went ahead and I dissected all the good parts from both the stock wiring and the new one that had come in. The new one was, is this black one here. It's from an 07 SV650. Um, apparently, uh, the other pins, where they go? The other pins are here. They were, uh, they were, um, I'm sorry, uh, five across, so it's ten pin, and this is an eight pin. This one actually goes to the bike, the other one didn't. So I pretty much had to take the good parts from both of them and splice them together, and I wouldn't recommend doing that, but I'm not going to sit there and wait another week for more parts to come in. And, uh, if this works, then, uh, go me. So... Now it's time to install this. And test it out. All right, let's see how this works. Okay, after you put this on, you want to adjust your cables to where they have, they're just snug, but they're not pulling the throttle open, so you may have to play with it or adjust it, but make sure you, you don't forget to adjust your, your throttle cables. So, well, other than that, that's, uh, that's pretty much it uh, with this. Um, all I have to do left is uh, is run this wire through the frame, well, over this, through the frame, inside, and I'm going to plug it in up in here. So, almost done. Got everything all hooked up. On here, I readjusted the throttle, made sure it's got a quick uh, return, because uh, whenever you adjust this just right, Sometimes it'll drag itself back. You don't want that. Make sure if you pull it back, you let it go, it retracts back to the idle position. So that lets me know that that's good to go. So let's get this thing fired up and see if that switch works. No problem turning it on. Four ways come on. Guess not. Well, we shall see what turns up. That was a bust. Back to the drawing board.
Okay. All right. Uh, first, I'm going to tackle this uh, starter relay. I don't have any power hooked up to it yet. I got some light from the truck. I got a drop light to help me out. And then I also got an overhead light. I, I love doing work at night because people don't bother me. So, anyway, here we go. Um, these are, you know, both your terminals. I'm not sure exactly uh, what side goes to what. I'm pretty sure one of them goes to the battery and the other one goes uh, directly to the starter. Uh, I'm pretty positive this one goes to the starter and this one comes from the battery, which it's right in front of me. Duh. Yeah. This one goes to the battery. This one goes to the starter. Now, I know the top of these have a, a Phillips um, a head on them, but I don't want to do that um, because you can round these off and I don't like doing that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a... Uh, a 10 millimeter focus. I'm going to use a 10 millimeter and take these off. So, I don't know if I haven't broke them loose yet. Alright, hold on just a second. Let me break them loose. I got like I was saying. You break them loose. You got bugs all over you. <laughs> Alright. Like I said, the, the, the reason why I use this is so you don't round it off or you don't strip this out and you can't get this off, which becomes a pain in the neck. So, I don't have, and this battery is bad anyway, So, but if the battery was good, you'd want to disconnect the battery before you do something like this. But in this case, it's irrelevant. What? Hold on just a second. Okay. The uh, the new relay. I'm not going to need this anymore. The new relay does not come with screws. So you want to save the previous ones from, from before. If you don't have them, um, try to find some. <laughs> you can go down to like Ace Hardware or something like that and, and find replacement screws. But these are, are, are rather shallow, so you'll want to transfer them over to the new one, and you can reuse these, which is what I intend on doing. I'm just going to set it there. All right, let's go ahead and get that other one off. Neighbors across the street jamming out. I got my radio cranking in the truck. Everybody listening to music today. It's a beautiful night out. I think the temperature is right about 82 degrees, somewhere in there. It is beautiful out here. Okay. There's a, a tab on the back of this. You depress it, and then it may be kind of snug to take off. So you, so you just wiggle it, and eventually it'll come off. get it with one hand. I think I can do this. No, I cannot. Hold on. Alright. It's good. All those connections. They look pretty clean. They look pretty good. Let's just go ahead and, let's go ahead and take that out of there. So that's the old one. Now what you want to do with stuff like this is you want to pull those fuses out because you might end up needing those later on. I go through fuses all the time. And that is a good fuse. There's a way to tell. You see a little uh, the arc in the very middle? If you can see the arc in the middle, that, arc, uh, that fuse is good. If it's blown, it'll be separated. So, Okay, so if you want to tell if a fuse is good, that little arc in the very middle, if that's connected like that, that means the fuse is good. But you can tell if it's burnt. It won't be connected and you'll see some char or something that's melted inside. So, but always check on your fuses that way. All right, so I always keep my fuses, whether they're good or not. I mean, you'd be surprised. Um, on when your fuses will come in handy. 
shoot sometimes I, if i go to a scrapyard or something and pull uh, parts for my truck or something i'll swing by other cars and uh and i'll go on their fuse blocks and stuff and i'll, I'll jack all their fuses you realize how much fuses cost at the store Ugh, can't get this one out get out come on oh my lord thank you aha I got it. Okay. So that's two good fuses. And these are, what, 30 amp? Yeah. 30 amp fuses. I got two good 30 amp fuses from that. And this, this is going to be trashed. Uh, the, the coil inside, I think, is seized up. Um, I mean, it's, like I said, it was underneath uh, 20 feet of water for two weeks. So, come on now. That was from the Harvey flood, and I, I'm expecting that to go bad. But uh, I've checked everything else in the bike, and it all looks pretty good. So, anyway, let's get this reinstalled. Or let's get this installed. Okay, so I put the other one back in. I don't want to sit there and mess with it on the camera. It took me a little while. Uh, these tabs on here are a little bit wider than the actual holes in the, in the uh, rubber mount that holds the relay together. So I just squeeze it in there. It's whatever. It's just going to work for now. But let's go ahead and put that. Let's put that on there. Looks like it's on there. Okay, yeah, that's on there. I need to check all these fuses. I'm sorry if I'm making y'all nauseous by the camera moving around. Okay, I need my needle nose for this. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna pull all of these out and check to see if they're good. If they're not, I'm gonna replace them. Um, but let, let's check that out real quick. June bugs. Okay, uh, like I was saying uh, about fuses, I showed you a good one. This is a 30 amp fuse that I pulled out before. Okay, see that's a good fuse. And I just pulled this one out, and I was wondering why my speedometer wasn't working. That's a bad fuse. Right there. You see how the, the arc in the center is not complete? It, there was too much, um, wattage, ampage. Man, I can't remember what, what it was. But, uh... Just too much for this little guy. It popped it. You can hear him pop. It sounds like a, it's a little snap, like a small twig. Whenever you hear him pop, which is why I collect these. <laughs> like I said, it's scrap yards. <laughs> um, and I, I'm pretty sure that the rest of these might look like this. I don't know yet. So let me dig in my arsenal and see if I can find me another one of these. Okay, um, I have some other ones that are around here somewhere, but I'm going to check the rest of these, and uh, I know that these are, all four of these are 10, this one was replaced here, um, I know I popped this one before, this is a 25, I really don't want to do that, I'm going to replace all these with new 10s, uh, but this is a spare, this one was also a spare, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and take this one and put it back here. This, I think, is for my cluster uh, for the speedometer. So, hold on a second. Let me pull this one out, and I'm going to switch it. Okay, good news. All the other fuses are good, so I swapped this over. All these fuses are now good. <sighs> All right, so let's close that. 
we are good with this for now. Um, I'm not going to jack with this until probably later. I'll put this back where it belongs, which is right here. Rubber tabs. Come on now. You came out of there. Get in your home. Go home. You too good for your home? Clearly you're too good for your home. There you go. That's one side. There's the other one. Come on. Get in there. Do it. Do it. Oh, oh there you go. Oh, hey, what do you know? See, sometimes you just, you just, you just gotta talk dirty to it. All right, I got the power, got all this connected. Uh, it's now time for that stuff. So, all right. That's how you replace your starter relay. And I'm pretty sure that's going to conclude this video for now. Um, I know it's, it looked a little bit more difficult than, <laughs> than I made it out to be. Uh, make sure that the, the little slit right here, you just make sure that this goes on top of um, this plastic holder. It, it slides right inside here. So I, I have it sandwiched in here for now. But I'll fix it later. I'm not. I'm not in a big hurry to jack with it right now. So, because uh, I'm gonna be cleaning a bunch of this, bunch of this crap out later on. So, but uh, yeah, that's the that's the easiest way to do it. I mean, don't forget to uh, don't forget to use a socket to take these off. Okay. Otherwise, you'll 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 round all this off the the threads for the Phillips head and then you're gonna be in some trouble you're gonna be pulling out some pliers and you don't want to do that shortcut use this it is a lifesaver trust me okay after careful uh, checking of all my wires the relay works perfectly it's everything's fine I checked all the fuses everything's good and then, you know, the, the start switch just wouldn't work, you know, every time I'd do it. And, and I'm thinking that the wiring was wrong, but it's not. I went through, uh, the, I downloaded a PDF for this bike's wiring diagram. And uh, what I found was, I went through all the kill switches. You know, you have, you got your side stand kill switch, which it's, it's here somewhere. It's, uh, I think, up underneath the back. That's it right there. That's a kill switch. And then uh, there's a, uh, you got this kill switch, you've got the key, that's a uh, type of another switch. But then you have this bad boy over here. This is called the uh, the clutch, clutch handle kill switch. And uh, I went ahead and I unplugged it and I bridged it with some speaker wire. And sure as hell, did that thing not fire right up. Really, man? So, this, uh, this unit here, this will have to be replaced, which I plan on doing anyway, but it's the, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, kill switch problem. And man, does that sound good. Yeah, buddy. Oh, I'm so happy about that. <laughs> Something as simple as a kill switch causing me all that grief. So, from what I hear of the 2003 models, a lot of them have this problem right here. So, uh, this is going to be replaced, if not probably bypassed. I, I really don't think that's a good idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. 
uh, just temporarily to get the guy the get the bike going but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean up all these connections heat shrink everything and uh, and call it good um, and then my next project is all the turn signals which I bought and that will be on the next film so bike runs switch works go me SV Cruiser. Peace.